What's up guys, this is Dr. Olson from Innovative Dental. And because it's uh, such a unique treatment we offer here at Innovative Dental, I wanted to go over how we transform a smile in one single visit with veneers. Uh, and so there's a lot of uh, questions we get that are all over the board on, is it going to hurt? Uh, is it going to last? How do you make veneers? Who's making the veneers? And so I'll hopefully be able to answer those in this uh, short, short video. Hopefully it's about five minutes or so. You know, I'm kind of long-winded, so it might go a little longer. But uh, we start every uh, smile with a complimentary consultation where we're able to sit down with you and discuss your desires for your smile, go over you know, things like um, what really bothers you, what concerns you might have, uh, how many teeth you want to, to have included, what kind of how bright you want your smile to look. Obviously, we want to make sure that it's realistic and looks real, um, but we understand that patients have different desires for their, the shade of their teeth. And we do that all in that first visit, looking through photos. We do a, um, a nice number of uh, photos to give us a record of what your current smile looks like. That also allows us to give you a simulation. And so after discussing your, your goals and kind of what you want, we're able to do a simulation that gives you a visual of what your smile could look like should you choose to go forward with treatment. After you've accepted treatment and decide, hey, I'd love to, to change my smile at Innovative Dental, we go ahead and reserve a time, uh, usually a few weeks down the road, because we have to do something very important, important for you and your smile, and that's plan it. And because we really want to make certain that we deliver you something that you're gonna be really impressed with, we take an impression the day that you accept treatment, and that impression allows us to do a 3D plan. I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. Here's a, the front portion of that model, allows you to see how the teeth are designed, and that way we can get what's really important, and that's that dimension, so height and width of what your smile would look like to be the, the most impressive and, and natural looking. Uh, after we have this, we really have a great idea of what your smile is gonna look like, because this technology here allows us to replicate that. So this right here is called a Seric machine, it allows us to take 3D images with this camera, and because we're taking a 3D impression of the patient, we don't have to send anything off to a lab. So now we're able to do everything right here in our office with really great accuracy. And then, as you can probably see where I'm going with this, the real cosmetic provider is not the lab, it's actually the dentist. And so I feel really passionately that that's the best way to deliver cosmetic treatment because when you invest in your smile and you trust us with your hard-earned dollars to transform your smile, and we take an impression and send it off to a lab, the lab's really doing a lot of the work and hopefully they're a great lab and hopefully they deliver a, an awesome result. But um, you know, I, I, I found that I can get the best results when I do it all here in our office and have complete control over the process. So we image your, your teeth after we've, after we've prepped them a little bit. And when, when we prep teeth, by the way, for uh, veneers, we remove about what's called, a, I call it a credit card's width. So it's about a millimeter. So if you take out a credit card and look at it, that's about how much we reduce the tooth. So it is safe. It's not going to hurt. Um, there is very little to no risk as far as uh, pain or issues down the road. Um, we obviously wouldn't treat somebody who's super young that might have large nerves uh, still in their teeth, but as we age, the nerves shrink a little bit. And so the chance of sensitivity and pain go way down and almost non-existent after about 20 years old, 25 years old. So um, this model here allows us to show you, I wanted to give you an idea of what we can do. And this is actually one of our team members. This is her smile. So she actually has the veneers. And here in a few minutes, I'll show you what those look like. Once we've designed uh, the smile the way we want it to look, and after we've been able to replicate our wax up in the software, now we go ahead and plan where we want to send these to our milling machines. Since we have uh, eight, or we have four milling machines, we're able to mill uh, four restorations at a time. So eight veneers would take us roughly 20 minutes to, to mill, which is really slick. So once we've accepted this, we go to this little mill button right here, and we can in our wireless network here at our office, we can start sending these to a mill. And just for kind of an example, I was going to go ahead and send this to our milling machine in our uh, reception area. All right, so we're now we're ready to mill. One of the common questions is, what type of material do you use? We use the hardest uh, aesthetic porcelain you can find. It's called Emax. It is extremely strong. It does not chip, or very, very rarely would ever chip. Um, we've had actually one of our teamers fall on, our, uh, on concrete, and it didn't chip. So it's it's just really good, strong stuff, which is uh, 
nice to use that. Um, but it looks great. It starts off as a purple block. I don't know if you can see that and focus on that a little bit. Well, this is the block we use. It's called Emacs. There's, we, you can see these numbers on there that are on the letters and numbers on the block. Those are the shade and the type of material. So we usually use what's called a high translucent porcelain. It looks very lifelike. So if you've seen any of our smiles close up, you'll notice that the, the patients have a very natural, beautifully light smile. It doesn't look fake uh, as a lot of older restorations used to look because of the material choice. Um, and so this is very natural looking. It is purple. So if you, I don't know if you can kind of tell, it's a, like a shade of purple right now. We mill it like this and then we bake it and it crystallizes and turns to the proper shade. So that's kind of how that works. The reason that it does that, a lot of people go, why, why in the world would you have to, uh, why would it be purple? Because when it's crystallized, it's so hard that the diamond burrs really couldn't even cut it um, on this machine right here if, if we uh, had a crystallized block. And I will cut all that because you probably don't care. Mm. All right. <laughs> and, so the, and so this block, we insert it right here into our machine. And we tighten it down. This is, there we go. We're going to have to, I think we need to change this out. But. And then after we've tightened it down, or you'll notice here on our computer screen, see that? Should pop up our restoration. So the same tooth that you just saw on the computer is right here. And it's getting ready to be milled. So pretty cool, right? The machine will calibrate, measure, shoot a bunch of water, and in about 10 minutes we'll have a nicely shaped veneer that's ready to go into the oven. After we put it in the oven, we kind of do a few things to make it look really nice and polished, and then now we're ready to bond it on permanently in the patient's mouth. So the whole process takes roughly three, three and a half hours. We work on our patient for less than uh, 30 minutes typically. Um, and initially, and then about 30 minutes at the end. So total time, maybe about an hour, um, and they're not you're not going to feel anything during that whole time. So it's pretty pretty slick. Um, obviously, I hope this was inform informative. I hope it was helpful. Help helps you see how we do cosmetic dentistry. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing you here at Innovative Dental. Check us out on uh, our website at idspringfield.com or give us a call at 417-889-4746. Otherwise, you have an awesome day and thanks for listening.